Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions. My name is David and in today's quick unity tutorial We're gonna be looking at how to open a door when it's locked and it requires a key as always my friends Remember to drop me a like and subscribe if you find this tutorial useful or helpful in any sort of way Remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss an upload by me And also if you are looking for any of the assets I use in this tutorial series It is linked in a Google Drive for a free download in the description We also have our discord link down there where I post daily updates about the channel Without further ado, let me show you the finished product and then we can go into the tutorial. So here we are in our test scene that we've been creating and you'll notice that I have added a new set of doors over here. So in our last tutorial, you could just walk up to this door and open and close it as many times as you wanted to. But if you go over to this door, you're going to notice it's locked and it plays a little lock sound effect. Okay. But if I run over here, I take this key and then I walk over to this door it'll now open and close accordingly. Perfect. I'm not gonna go into every single detail on how to set this door up, just because I've already done that in the previous tutorial on how to open the door. If you guys have not already watched that video, I highly advise it. That way you'll be up to speed with the tutorial series and you'll understand this a little bit better. Let me open up the new script that I created called Doors with Locks. And you're gonna notice it's the exact same code for the previous door, just with a couple extra lines for the locking mechanism. Let me go through it real quick. Up here, we have everything that we can play around with. We have an animator for the door. That's how you open and close it. It's through an animation. We have two game objects, which one is the text that displays on your screen when you're looking at the door. The other is the key in the inventory. We now have two audio sources, one for when the door opens and one for the door when it's locked. And then we have four bools. The first bool is to tell if we're in reach of the door. The second one is if the door is unlocked. The third one is if it's locked. And then the fourth one says if we have the key. Right here in the start function, I have a couple things false, except the bottom one being locked, which is true. This is because when I load the game, I want the door to automatically start locked and we don't have the key or anything like that. On our on trigger enter, we have the same thing as before. If our reach tool comes in contact with the door, in reach becomes true and then it displays our text. And if we look away on the on trigger exit, it does the complete opposite. Now we have this long void update right here. Our first if statement states if the key is in our inventory, meaning it is active in the hierarchy, locked becomes false while has key becomes true. And then this little else statement just says if we don't have the key in the hierarchy, then has key is false. Right here, if we have the key and we're in reach of the door and we press down interact, unlocked becomes true and then it plays open door, which we have down here. So this will shoot all the way down here into this void opens door. And it says, if unlocked, the door bool becomes true and the closed bool becomes false, as well as we play a little sound of the door opening. Else, door closes, which is the complete opposite in right here, void door closes. We have one more if statement right here saying, if the door is locked, but we're in reach and we press down interact, it doesn't do anything but play the locked sound effect. It's a very simple script, but very effective. Let me just go over how I set this up in the game. I pretty much just copy and pasted this original door we created over here. Now if we click on that, we can see we have a couple more things that we could play around with. Mostly just the bools that set themselves accordingly in the very beginning of the script. That's why we have them referenced in this start function. If you don't want to see the bools in the hierarchy, you can just change these public to private and you won't see them. I only keep them public for testing reasons. But then we just need a lock sound effect, which all I have done if you've been following the series, inside our FPS controller we have a little category called sounds. I duplicated one of the existing ones, renamed it to lock door, and then I put the locked door clip inside of that. And now if we play the game, we walk over to the door, it's locked. We pick up this key over here, which we covered in our opening box. We covered how to pick up a key. So if we pick it up, run over here, the door opens and closes. Perfect. Like I said, you guys, if you have not been following the series 100%, I totally advise you guys to go watch the original making of the door as well as picking up this key to open this box. They're very short tutorials and it'll help you understand this tutorial and coming tutorials much better. In those two previous tutorials, we go over how to create this inventory with our door or box key. And then also we get into the actual animating of the object. If you guys already know that on your own, then you don't have to rewatch them. But if you want to be educated on how to do it, go watch those two tutorials. With all that being said, guys, I hope you have found this video entertaining or useful in some sort of way. 
As always, my friends, everything is linked in the description for a free download, as well as our Discord server. And if you guys could just remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. Until the next video, you guys, this is User1 Productions, signing off for now. Peace.